look here, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. You know this famous theorem, this famous formula from middle school. Let's show how we can easily prove it in a graphic, visually appealing manner. There are many ways. I'm showing you a simplified way. Start here with a right triangle, which looks like this. You're going to draw four right triangles, but you'll always draw a long side and a short side. The long side will always be labeled as A, the short as B, and your hypotenuse. The vertex with your hypotenuse and your long side will always shade it right here just for you to see the orientation of these triangles as they come together. Draw another right triangle and it looks like this. Here's your long side short and your hypotenuse and that shaded region right over here. Draw yet another. We're going to do four right triangles. If done properly, it looks visually appealing. Here's your long, here's your short, here's your hypotenuse, here's that shaded region right over here. The last one, bring it right over here. Here's your short, here's your long, your hypotenuse, and that shaded region, and it orients you to how the triangles have come together. Incidentally, what happens is a square forms in between, and the area of that is a C square, but you're focusing now on this outer edge, and the four outer edges generate a square, and they look like this. Now, this triangle right here stays as is, and I'm going to draw it for you right here. Here's B, here's A. I'm not going to draw any more hypotenuses, but you see where they are. This triangle will pivot around this point, and it'll come flush against that. When it does that, you're looking at something which looks like this, B and A. This triangle stays where it is, and you're seeing it now here. Here's A, here's B. This triangle will pivot around this point, and you'll flush it over there, and it looks like this. Here's side B, here's side A. Now look, you have four triangles as you have here, and now you've generated two rectangles, but we have not added any extra areas. We've manipulated our existing areas. We have now two residual square areas. One is this, and one is this. If this right here is A, this here is A. If this here is A, this here must be A. The area here is an A square. You see this B, it's that B, and then you're obviously looking at B, and this right here is B square. Focus only on these incidental residual areas. You have one which is the C square. Especially when you throw these four triangles out, out of the picture, you're left with this residual area and that's a C square. Look at these four triangles and throw them out and you're left with two residual squares and they are A square plus B square. Once you undergo this manipulation, you're left with two sets of residual areas which must be equal to each other because we never added anything. We only manipulated our triangles and we looked at what remained after we threw those triangles out. On one side we have c squared, on the other side we have what remains a squared plus b squared, and the theorem has been proven.